Hey, what's going on humans? Hopefully you're having a good day. I know I am. And so for right now, we're going to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, the SPD Ace uh, versus 2-pack of the A-Squad Blue Ranger and the B-Squad Blue Ranger. So this is, I guess, to kick off the versus line, even though we kind of got two of those last year with uh, Green Ranger and Putty and Psycho Red and Galaxy Red. But I don't know. They're calling these versus. So here we have the SPD, well, versus, we have our main Blue Ranger, Sky Tate, who I'm very happy about, and first ever, an A-Squad Power Ranger, A-Squad Blue, so we're gonna look at him first, because he is the first ever A-Squad Power Ranger figure we've ever gotten, we've never gotten one before, so I kinda wanna take the time to look at him real quick. So, as for the design, it's actually pretty nice, I actually do like it, they actually took the, um the in space suits and kind of kind of gave him like a nice little armor if you think about it like a nice SWAT armor almost I think the design is pretty I think it's a pretty good looking design on him he's got the SPD logo on his shoulder on his uh kind of on the side of his biceps and then he has a logo kind of on his chest right here and then I like this little add-on piece that they have for the helmet as you can see, it's basically the space helmet just with the SPD attachments on it. But yeah, this is actually a pretty decent uh, looking figure. Uh, there is a strap. You can unhook this and take this whole thing off. So for his articulation, head is on a ball joint. Can look, can look up. Can't really look down too much. Can look side to side. Still get his uh, decent articulation out of him. Uh, just if you push him forward, the um, chest plate is going to hit the belt. But you can hit a T pose with these guys, and you can kind of see how the how the armor kind of comes up. It has these little flappy shoulder pads on it. He does have bicep swivel on him. And then he's got a nice double bend at the elbow. He's got a swivel and pivot for his wrist. And then a double bend at the knee. He also has thigh swivel. Let's him come out all the way, even though that is a really awkward position. And then you have a little pivot and swivel for the feet. Yeah, so he poses up pretty nicely. I say he looks really good. So let me set him to the side, and now we're going to focus on the main, well, part of the main crew. But, ladies and gentlemen, my all time favorite Blue Ranger, Sky Tate, is here. Uh, so. As for the design on him, it's pretty easy not to mess up, even though they did, they did, well, even though they did mess up some things. Um, whereas you see, as it's kind of white, this is supposed to be silver, and they, they, uh, kind of messed that up a little bit. I kind of noticed there was a little too much brightness going on with the helmet. I always knew that that was supposed to be silver, and I think they added just a little bit too much white for the helmet around, well, around the visor, Yeah. But his articulation is still the same. I'm going to just kind of go over just a little bit of what his articulation is. Because if you do have SPD Red, then it's pretty much the same thing. Or they're all pretty much the same as far as Lightning Collection. So, you know... Kinda got some weird looking weird looking pose going on for him. But yeah, this is a nice little versus pack. I really do appreciate them doing this, you know. I finally got my favorite Blue Ranger of all time. I love it very much. But uh let me get on to these guys' accessories. Okay, let's see. Let's 
stand him up real quick. So for A Squad Blue, he comes with uh let's see. He has his uh he has two hands on him that are for gripping. Should probably bring him closer into the camera. And then he also has two close fist hands. He also has his blaster. Which is a pretty nice looking it's a pretty nice looking weapon. Let's see he's got the badge on here. It's got blue light, got the like the blue paint on it. And then you have his blast effect, which is uh we've seen this one before, it's just in a different color, it's like this soda lime green color. He can hold it, but the thing is uh you can plug it in. But the way the design is, is like the butt of the gun kind of hits the thumb, so therefore you can't really get the finger to kind of go in there. Well, what I did is I modded mine, so I kind of cut a line so that way I can try to get the finger in there. That didn't really work. So, yeah. Kind of, I think they should have done a little bit, something, a little bit something different with that. That way you can fit a hand in there. You actually properly fit a hand in there. So, but you can get him to hold this thing. And then just have him hold it. Kind of like that. And kind of get it to tuck in. So, yeah. That's uh you can get something like that going on with him. Ooh. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. It kinda sucks that he doesn't come with a head scope. He was the one he was I think he's the alien one that had he was looking like he was the one that looked like a walrus. I kinda would I kinda would like to have a head a head scope of that, but you know, we didn't get one, so that kinda sucks. But moving on to Sky, he kinda comes with a bit of accessories. He comes with his morpher, which it is painted. It is painted up nicely. He also comes with a hand to hold the morpher. He also comes with a karate chop hand. He has this little blast effect, which we've seen this one before, just recolored. Then he has his head scoped, and yeah, I gotta say that definitely looks like Sky. We got the hair done and everything, so let me just take this off. Then plug this in properly. That's oh, not in all the way. Okay, there we go. And then there we got Sky. It looks good. And so he also has his other weapons on him, which I have. His, I have them stored up here. Now I don't. I. I don't forget the, the names of the weapons. But this one is sort of kind of like the brass knuckle. It's kind of like a brass knuckle almost design. And then you can kind of put this in his hand. Try to do it on camera. But uh, his hands, hold on. Put that down. Let's see. Come on. Let's get that in there. Oh, come on. Yep. I had a feeling this would be difficult. Okay. So, uh, give me one second. Okay, so yeah, it was a little painful to get, but um, on the he does have two like trigger holding gun holding hands for him, so this can be used for sort of like a gauntlet if I remember. And then this piece could transform into the sword, or you can use it as an extension for the gun, which it, this is the holster version. This is the gun version. They didn't really make a sword version for this one, which 
a little disappointed on it, but you know, I'm not gonna complain about it too much because this guy came with quite a bit of accessories, enough as it is. So, there you got Sky holding the weapon. And he looks good with it, so. And just a quick little action shot. Just something a little quick action shot. Yeah. So yeah, other than that, these two look pretty good. Alright, so let's do some size comparisons. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to. Well, let's see. For Sky, go and compare him next to the rest of the other SPD Rangers. Yeah, so Mega Red and Shadow. And yeah, we're pretty good. We just need green, pink, and yellow, and then boom, that'll be the whole team. And hopefully we get Cat Ranger too. So yeah. That's how they look. And for blue. This is him next to Draken Evolution 3. And Astronomer. Don't want to knock that over. And then for other lines. SHF, here's Common Order Kronos. The renewal version of Decayed. Other than that, that'll be it for this one. Uh, now, if you do like SPD, which I know a lot of people do, or if you do like Dako Ranger, this is a good set. You also get a new first-time character in action figure form. Uh, yeah, I recommend the set. Uh, if you don't like it, that's cool too. But other than that, you humans, take it easy. Have a good day. Be safe out there. Hey guys, one more thing to add. So... If you do have the SPD Red Ranger uh, body, you can take this guy's head and, you know, put it on since he did morph into the Red Ranger a few times and was promoted to the leader of the team at the end of the show. Uh, yeah, I just want to add that in there. That actually works. I think that looks pretty nice. Yeah, just a little quick bit. That's it.